So what I've been noticing is, is that if you tell someone how you feel about your spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, your significant other, right? People are so quick to remind you of what you said. And sometimes they're not reminding you because they're being a good steward over your heart as a friend or a loved one or a family member. It's because they want to be negative. If I tell you, and this is just a random name, if I tell you that Joe upset me and we got into a little spat, Nothing physical, no violence or anything like that. But if I tell you Joe upset me and today is May 27th, 2018. And if I come to you in December 2018 and I'm like, me and Joe got in another spat. (laughs) I don't need you as the person I told to keep bringing up the bad things, you know what I mean? Because what I've learned about being in a relationship with anyone, not just a a person that you love or like or anything, any human being, y'all are never gonna agree on anything all the time. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like for the women and the men, depending on what you like, who talk bad about their, their men, You know what I mean? And then you guys make up and things are better and they're working and they're going good. And there could be somebody that's still reminding you. But don't forget. Don't forget six months ago y'all broke up. Don't forget y'all back together now. But it can happen again. Don't get It's always that don't forget friend or that don't forget family member. Don't forget. Don't forget. And so when people ask me for advice for things and I know the history of the relationship, I just tell them, make sure you're evaluating properly. You know, don't, it's okay to forgive, but I don't forget things. So that's the advice that I give. Don't forget, you know, but to keep rubbing something in, you know, like I know someone who always said something smart to me about what I've told them and when I see her or when I yes yeah, mainly when I see her in person she'll have something smart to say about it and she says a little smart remark every time oh this is how this is going this week and it's like you the bitch that we don't talk to <laughs> and tell the business to you know so sometimes You got to be careful when you tell your business to people. And it could be one of your closest friends. And you tell them one thing and they take it and go totally overboard. And you'll be like, damn, I should have never told that person that. Because one day I might end up popping her in her mouth for talking too much. You know what I mean? So, (sighs) I'm on my walk, y'all. Y'all got to bear with me. I'm breathing. (laughs) But it's just like... I don't understand why people have to keep bringing up the bad. So be careful who you tell that your man or your woman pissed you off or upset you at some point in time in in your relationship, you know. And I'm people that have broken up and gotten back together and broken up and gotten back together. Sometimes you break up with somebody and you think that you can go out here. I'm such and such. I can go out here and find somebody easily. You're replaceable. And then after two, three, four, five months, <laughs> you'll be like, damn. <laughs> that person really ain't that replaceable. They really did do this for me. I really should have been appreciative of that. I should have listened when they said this. Or I should have had a, a more mature response when they asked me about this. Or maybe I shouldn't have held that from that person. a a secret or you know something like that people can can say those type of things to themselves it's starting to get hot out here now it wasn't on the other side so be careful who you share your business to man 
because people are out here unhappy themselves and see the thing that people that are in relationships especially husband and wife or committed relationships you you know what i didn't understand it back in the day but now i do you can't tell your single girlfriend if you married the problems because unless she's been married she's not really understanding it or unless she's even been in a committed relationship he or she they're not going to understand it so you know be careful who you tell your business to because there's people out here that thrive they wait they wait for that moment where they can be like oh i know the chips gonna fall for such and such and such and such so you know i know the chips gonna fall so when it happened, I'll be I'll be glad standing in line number one ready to say something negative. So that's just my quick little thought for the day. Be careful who you tell your business to. Cause there's people out here praying on your downfall. It's people that love to make smart comments. It's people that's always gonna love to see y'all have a snapple or issue in y'all relationship. Get away from them people. Damn, that was a big bug. Get away from them people. Because uh, those people may very well be the reason why you having the snapple or the whatever, the situation that you have in. So, guard your heart, guard your feelings, guard your emotions, and, and keep people out your business. I, ever since I stopped keeping people out my business, my life has been so much more peaceful, calm, resistant to the bullshit. It has. It has. And the stress will decrease. You know, and you're thinking that you're telling somebody something because I'm a type of person where if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to tell you the good and I'm going to also tell you the bad. I'm going to call you and be like, oh, I can't stand this person. <laughs> but then I'm going to call you and be like, oh, you know what such and such did? Oh, you know what I'm saying? I like to tell the good and the bad. Balance it out. Don't always tell the bad. You know? So that's what I was just thinking about because... um. Some people you got to cut loose. You meet and you can't take on a journey. So, that's it. Thank y'all for viewing, watching, subscribing. Y'all can check me out on A-S-T-R-A-S underscore C-L-O-S-E-T. That's Astra's Closet. That's my other YouTube channel. And y'all can check me out on um, Astra's Closet. It's underscore in between Astra and the Closet on Instagram. So, peace, blessings, and love to you. Happy Memorial Day.